Hello everybody, I'm Anthony Rockers Liberty L Submarine. I, and I know you're gonna be asking yourself a question. Anthony, what are you doing here? Has your did your channel did it did it, did it got deleted? No. I'm so glad that YouTube got me another chance to keep my channel and keep doing what I'm doing. So this video is not different, but this is just like my honest opinion on a song from a, a musician, Sir Paul, right here. And he made a song called Wonderful Christmas Time. And he recorded, sadly, um, the, a background to this song is that he recorded this song around in an era where I, I was not a big fan of his style in the 80s. And this was recorded around the time he made McCartney 2 album. And in my opinion, I didn't really, I, 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 I think I did not care much for his 80s albums. Except for Tug of War. I really do enjoy Tug of War. The, that's the only album I really enjoy. And the rest, I just never gotten into his style of the 80s. His 80s is meh for me. Because I prefer his 70s. Because he was really good in the 70s. Like for example, the Ram album that I have on vinyl, still a classic. I love that album. And back then, I, I, I first time listened to the Ram album, I was just like, well, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. But I listened to it more and more, loved it. It's actually one of my favorite Paul McCartney albums that he's made in his solo career. So without further ado, let's review this uh, Paul McCartney song, and it is called "Wonderful Christmas Time." And what "Wonderful Christmas Time" is a—it's no be surprised that it's—it's it's a Christmas song by Paul McCartney, and he wrote this song. And I believe this this was released in 1979, in November 16th. And my I got problems with this song, and believe me or not, it is not the worst Paul McCartney song. Well, um, like I just want to ask. Like before I get to my uh, my honest thoughts or my uh, my average rate or whatever that's called, like if I before I give out my reaction and what my thoughts about it, just let me know in the comments down below what is your honest thoughts. Like what is your at, like opinion about the song? Did you love the song or did you like it? Which like means like you you like the song, which means that you got problems, but you can still like it, or you can you can turn it on or turn it off. And you're not gonna really gonna listen to it so much often, or do you absolutely hated it? Like you you like you absolutely hate. That means that you're not going to play the song anymore, and you despise the song, something like that. But for me, in my opinion, I don't like this song, even for, for more listens. I mean, I guess because I'm. Maybe it's because 80s is not really my thing, in my opinion. I mean, I do ex I do respect some musicians in the 80s, too. But his style in the 80s is not my favorite in his solo career. I think, in my opinion, the problem I have with this song is the lyrics. I mean, although I did listen to the music, what I, I like how this song is more of a, a Christmas traditional like element of it, which I do enjoy. It, I, I mean, this song, in my opinion, is some way too simplistic for me and and I mean Paul McCartney did make some simplistic uh, sim uh, simple music back in the past but this song is really simplistic for me and the lyrics is way too simplistic for me and he could have made better lyrics than he could have done a better lyrics in my opinion but I do I did like the the um, after the chorus after um, the ding dong I did like the ooh or, or whatever that's and no, I'm not singing. That's not how I sing it like that. That's that's in the first chorus. So yeah, we're well. I'll read the lyrics so you know what I'm saying. But the beginning starts with uh, the mood is right, the spirits up. We're here tonight, and that's enough. Pretty weird. Uh, pretty dumb lyrics. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. The party's on. The feelings here. That only counts this time of year. It's pretty okay lyrics right now so far. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. There's so many of those, like, simply, simply having a wonderful Christmas time. There's so many of them, in my opinion. And the chorus, the first chorus is the choir of children sing their song. And this is the part I got a little problem. Is that they keep saying, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. And I'm not even joking. That's actually in the song. Look up the lyrics. Look up the lyrics online so you think I'm lying. But it says, ding, or it actually says, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. And ooh, two, 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 two. Like, you know, that's that's the first chorus. And the second chorus is way... I, the second chorus I got a big problem with. Except the first one... The first chorus I don't really have too much of a problem with. But after that, uh, the first chorus, it starts... It goes off again with the first chorus. Uh, again with the title. We're simply having, uh, having a wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. The word is out about the time to lift the glass 
and don't look down. Simply having fun. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. I keep misspelling what I'm trying to. I keep messing up every time. The choir of children sing their song. They practice all year long. This is the second chorus, by the way. So this is what it really annoys me. And I'm not even joking. This is what exactly he sings and he wrote this. And let me let me show you. Like it's it actually he sings the chorus, the second chorus with the ding dong. The first one I didn't mind the ding dong part. Well, I mean not too much. But this one really annoys me. It go, it actually it actually he they actually sing ding dong 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 dong like it keeps saying that so many times and it really annoys me. It gets really annoying. Like it's like it's in my opinion a little too simplistic for me. A little too too simplistic. I think I would have wrote a better lyrics myself. I mean I don't I mean I would have made a better lyrics a lyric than that. The party's on, the spirit's up, we're here tonight, that's enough. A same lyric from the beginning. It's simply having, simply having a wonderful good time, simply having a wonderful good time. It just basically repeats that. And I know you're going to be asking yourself, what do you think about the guitar solo in the song? To, me, to tell you the truth, this is not actually my favorite solo from Paul McCurdy. I've heard better uh, solos from the Beatles, or not only, well not from the Beatles, but I've heard better solos of Paul McCartney way more than this song. Because this song is, that... I don't know, because the solo for me didn't really do much for me. I've, I've heard better solos from Paul McCartney, and not from other bands. I'm not trying to compare him from other bands, no. Or musicians, no way, Jose. And I, the solo for me, it was not my favorite. I, I've heard better solos from him. I've heard better. And it just ends up with the a same exact title over and over and over again. We're simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a Oh, good Christmas time. Like, it's, I don't know, this writing right here, like, this songwriting right here of this song is really painful. I mean, it's not painful or, I mean, it might be, it's not painful or it's not dreadful by any means. It's okay, in my opinion. The song, he, I mean, I understand this was recorded around the time in the 80s where he made the McCartney 2 album and... I never liked that album, McCartney 2, because I tried giving it a chance, but I've got so many problems with McCartney 2 album. I prefer McCartney album over McCartney 2. And I'm not trying to bash this song apart. This is just my honest opinion about this song. So for me, I, I, was, I will rank it a 4 or 3 out of 10. Because the lyrics, the songwriting needs more improvements, and especially the chorus, the second chorus needs a bigger improvement. And the guitar solo needs a little more improvement because I heard better solos in this. I mean, it's an okay solo, not my favorite from Paul McCartney. I've heard better solos. And this song is not my favorite song from Paul McCartney, no way. And I understand this, he, and I know you're gonna be like, Eddie, do you hate the instrument synth, uh, synthesizer instruments? Do you hate that instrument? I do not hate that instrument. In my opinion, he's, I know, I understand that he's doing, he's trying to, do some experimentation with the instrument synthesizers. It's the same thing with McCartney too. And yeah, McCart um Ram album and by the way, fun fact, you probably don't know this, but did you know that McCartney 2 album actually had negative reviews when it first came out? I mean, I doubt it. I mean, I did I doubt it and uh, I was not even surprised because I understand why this had negative reviews when it first came out. But nowadays people are liking it a little bit more, but not a whole lot. It's not their favorite Paul McCartney albums of all times. And it's similar to what I said about Ram album that, uh, well, I didn't say that, but did you also know that Ram album actually also had negative reviews too, Ram? And nowadays a lot of people are calling it one of the best albums from Paul McCartney. And to tell you the truth, I listened to the album, the first time I listened to it, I thought it was pretty okay. I, I actually love some of the songs right away, actually. But then I listened to it like five or six times, and I loved the album, actually. And I actually, I actually kind of knew this album had negative reviews, because mostly one song that attacked on John Lennon, we all understand why John Lennon hated uh, the album. Because, because... McCartney 2, we un we can kind of understand why McCartney 2 a also had a negative review when it first came out. Because it's definitely one of the albums that he was d be doing experimentation with pop sounds. Which, I prefer his 70s era of Paul McCartney. And, well, in my opinion, I was going to say I prefer the, the 2000s, the early 2000s and the mid-2000s where he made Driving Rain and 
Chaos Equation in the Backyard. Chaos Equation in the Backyard is actually one of my favorite albums from him. And also Driving Rain, that's also one of my favorite albums from him. Although a lot of people didn't like Driving Rain. That's okay if you don't like the Driving Rain album. Not, not a lot, it's not for them. I actually really enjoy Driving Rain album. It's not my top favorite. I would put it probably in the top five. Stuff like that. And yeah, this song, Wonderful Christmas Time, is not my favorite song from not only Paul McCartney, but well, I mean, it's not my favorite Christmas song in my opinion. Not only that, but it's not my favorite Paul McCartney song at all. And I, but, but believe me when I say this, I prefer this song, in my opinion, I prefer this song far more than that new song, the Get Enough song from Egypt Station. And yes, I did review that song, Get Enough, and it is not my favorite. Because I, I actually, I don't want to give out too much spoilers about my honest opinion, but I reviewed that album. Well, I mean, I, I'm going to have to spoil it because it's not really big, important, because that's just sharing opinions on stuff or songs but getting other songs i i bat i i almost bashed paul mccartney to pieces i mean not a, a whole lot but i i i i know I, we all understand paul mccartney is an experiment guy we understand that and we should and the way he experimentation with the audio tune really doesn't do much for me i did like some of the parts of the song but not a whole lot of better song Especially, it was written by Ryan Tedder, which arguably one of the worst co-writers co of all time. Well, in my opinion, one of the worst co-writers with Paul McCartney, in my opinion. You may like them, you might like Ryan Tedder, but I, I, I don't like his style. Especially Egypt Station. Egypt Station is not my favorite album from him. I've heard better albums. And I, I used to love Egypt Station a lot, but nowadays I've given up on that album because it, it really didn't really do much for me over the years. But yeah, this is just my honest opinion. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the wonderful Christmas time. And stick tuned for more Christmas. Christmas. Oh, I, don't know, I keep forgetting what I'm trying to say. Stick around for more Christmas videos. The next one is going to be Ringo Stars. I want to be Santa Claus. I'm going to be ranking the tracks by tracks worst to best. For me, there's no terrible songs on this album. And well, I mean, I know a lot of people probably didn't like this album. That's okay if you don't like this album. That's okay. As long as you have a good reason why. And, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about the song? Did you love, like, or hate it? For me, I would be... I would give it a, uh, a 4 out of 10 for me. And, I mean, 4 out of 10 is mostly because of the lyrics. The songwriting did not do well. And not only that, I mean, I did love... What I do loved about this song is that Christmas flavor. I do like that. But the lyrics doesn't really do much for me. And the solo, the guitar solo hand sound is not my favorite solo from Paul McCartney. I've heard better guitar work from Paul McCartney. Especially in the Beatles era too. I prefer that a, a lot more than this song. And I'm not saying I hate this song. I do, I do, I mean, I would, like, I like, like, when I say it, like, when I'm complimenting things, when I'm complimenting things in the song, that doesn't mean I hated it. There was some good parts I liked. At least they had a good feels as a Christmas spirit too. I like that. But the overall not my favorite Paul McCartney song, or not even my favorite songwriting lyrics from Paul McCartney. I mean, we I understand this was part of the '80s. In the '80s, he was. I mean, in my opinion, I'm not trying to offend. I'm not trying to offend Paul McCartney out there if he's watching this. But his songwriting back in the '80s was not the best. It was bad. His songwriting back in the '80s was not the good was was not the best and it was not my favorite songwriting era from Paul McCartney. I prefer him in the seventies and the in the early two thousands and the mid two thousands way more uh, a lot more. Cause I tried giving him a chance in his eighties albums and the nineties albums. I didn't really I mean I do I do actually love the run to the run album. And I already did the review on that album and yeah. So that's all I had to say. Stick around I'm gonna be making the Ringo Stars I Wanna Be Santa Claus album. And if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends or family. If if your families or your friends are a Paul McCartney, not only a Paul McCartney fans, but a Beatles fans too. Um, yeah, just in case my channel gets deleted, because it January first is going to be a big changing year for YouTube. And um, in the description, I launched myself a Bitual accounts. Uh, just click the link, and you can subscribe me to that. Uh, that link in that website so you can stay to that uh, you, so you can go directly to that website and subscribe to my videos and yeah so I can so I'm gonna be working on Bitual a lot more because just in case of YouTube if it's going to go downhill at January 1st which I hope it doesn't 
by the time of January first, it's gonna be pretty mess. It's gonna be pretty rough. But we're gonna. But we're all gonna solve this problem like together. So whatever happens to my channel, go to Bitual and also um, my social media are in the description, so you can um, stay updated of what I'm doing so far. I I am not going to be completely dead. No, I'm still gonna be around. Don't worry. And yeah, I'll let you know something like I'll. Just go directly to those videos, so you or go to the links, so you don't stay there for a long time. Especially, so time flies too fast, and I'm afraid what's going to happen next. So, hopefully, this whole situation is solved. I hope it, we I hope YouTube solved the problem. I hope so. But until then, I'm going to make my last video, and that's it. Just in case if just in case something happens, the next video I'm going to be ranking Ringo Starr's album. I want to be Santa Claus ranking the tracks, and that's it for the, my channel so far. Well, it depends on the problem, so yeah. I will see you in the next video. Change the world. Peace and love. And also, keep rocking out.